We are over-engineering productivity. And I'm saying this as somebody who loves looking at all of the different ways that we can be productive. One thing that really surprised me when I went to Japan was how many services were still paper-based. My initial impression was that this is a really old school way of doing things and it's a little inconvenient, but I quickly changed my tune and actually started to draw inspiration from this way of doing things. Working in tech, we're always trying to solve problems, often trying a little too hard. That translates to creating problems that don't even exist and solving them. By contrast, what I noticed in Japan was that there were more reliable systems for things rather than chasing the current trends and trying to make everything more convenient and hyper-efficient. They were actually prioritizing reliability and consistency. For example, Let's talk about package shipping. If you've ever shipped a package in America, you might have used UPS. And UPS is one of the more reliable delivery companies here. But last I checked, it's still hit or miss. We're often found endlessly refreshing our delivery status just in case something went wrong or they didn't follow the delivery instructions or worse yet, it somehow got lost in transit. They're trying, they're using all of the latest tech to try and do things more efficiently, including even using the latest AI chatbot for customer service, which is probably one of the biggest downfalls of customer satisfaction that we've experienced, but I digress. In Japan, their shipping methods are so reliable and trustworthy that it's actually not only common but expected that you ship your luggage from the airport to the hotel and yeah i'm talking about all of your precious belongings all of the clothes that you've brought and any other valuables you might have in there and yet there's a very different level of trust immediately and it's all paper-based if you lose your copy of the receipt it's game over <laughs> but they will not lose your packages or have any delays. It's kind of insane. Your package will always be there and there is a consistency and reliability of using this very tried and true system and way of doing things. Because it's so simple, there are less moving parts and thus less room for error along the way. Now, I'm not an expert in shipping anything other than software, but this did beg me to consider our design choices and solutions when building software. It also kind of reminds me of Haskell's whole let's avoid side effects like the plague mantra. If Japan can offer unmatched levels of reliability by keeping a simple system, I think we can say no to a feature that'll take our project from useful tool to bloatware. What do you think? And if you're somebody who's into productivity, I did resonate a lot with a lot of Cal Newport's messages in his books. I've mentioned him before on this channel. They are incredible. If you are looking for something more productivity focused, he gives very actionable tips while keeping the workflows as simple as possible. I will link a related video here with some of my book recommendations. If you enjoy this kind of format, give it a like, give it a comment. That is how I'm able to tell what kind of content you guys want to see on this channel. So definitely let me know. Appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.